Hello everyone, it's Kristen Louise here and I'd like to share a few messages that are coming through today for you all um, that I feel are really uh, pertinent in terms of what's going on with the energies right now on the planet. So one of the messages that have come through is the concept around you are your own master builder and when I think about this I think about the Lego movie when um, little man was the master builder and running around and realized that he actually had all the power and the potential within him already how good was that movie to create whatever he wanted to create without any instructions and that is very much I feel where we're finding ourselves at the moment where we're really stepping into this this time and this age of where you get to make the rules for your own life. You don't need to follow a prescribed set of instructions on how to live your life. And the way that we we navigate our way through our lives is based on our emotions, what feels good and true for you. Which is why only you ever really know what is right for you based on how it feels inside. If it doesn't feel good, if it feels heavy, if it feels um, unjust uh, or it just doesn't resonate fully with you, then it means that whatever uh, you're attempting to do or whatever um, you're being told to do isn't, isn't following your own heart and desires and what you want for yourself in this world. So the concept around being a master builder is that you, we all get to design a life that we absolutely love. All of us. That's our God-given right. That's actually why we came down here, was to create a life that we we absolutely love. And and to fill it with people and surround yourself with people that you absolutely love. Now I know for me on my journey, particularly this year, there has been so much um change and 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 within me primarily which has then also uh greatly altered uh my own social circle and and um i like to call it your tribe right so there's there's a process you go through where where when you're going through so much growth which is what we are all doing at the moment whether you're aware of it or not um when you go through your own growth, uh, everything around you just organically and naturally changes as as um, things move away so that new things can come in. And, and that's all part of the process. Um, the interesting thing that, that happens for a lot of us is that we we tend to, uh, human beings on the whole don't like uh, change especially dramatic change so we're sort of creatures of habit in a sense so so a lot of us sometimes try and resist what's happening and and try and go against the grain of, of um, the natural ebb and flow of life where things are always changing all the time and, and when you do that when you put up resistance to to what is uh, uh, your your natural path and flow then really all you're doing is creating your own suffering and misery for yourself you're just making it harder it's like when you have the choice of two ways to go it's like we well, can take the easy route or the hard route and you go yes I'll take the hard route absolutely so that choice is yours it's absolutely your choice and maybe if you choose the hard route then that is clearly the way you're meant to go in the first place but um the point is that you get to choose the whole way and and I find it just so fascinating that we are constantly 
manipulating our environment and creating our own world around us without even realizing it based on our thoughts our feelings our actions our beliefs our behaviors our habits our patterns past conditioning the whole lot so the the more that you're willing to to dive into what is going on inside of you and become aware of what is actually going on inside of you the greater your capacity is to be able to to make uh, really positive changes in your life and and that can only have one flow on effect which is more positive changes in your life it's like a ripple effect so so today's message is is revolved around that you can create your own reality you absolutely you already are you already are so so why not uh, make decisions that are fully aligned with you and the interesting thing is sometimes um, I just had this experience recently sometimes something can feel a little bit off and um, and and that's okay that that's your intuition your your guidance system telling you that either that person or that scenario or that event is not uh, not the way you're meant to be going something's off it's not right for you and um, I have two scenarios with this one is where I actually out of curiosity followed it still and went oh but I'm really curious about this and um, I ended up uh, in a very interesting situation where um, I I really it called me to really step into my own power and um, and say no to this person and uh, set up some really strong personal boundaries energetic boundaries and um, and the other incident that I um, recently went through was um, something felt off with someone else and I have no rhyme or reason for it I have no um, no concrete evidence for why that is but this time I'm going to honor it and say you know what something feels off I don't know what it is but I'm going to honor that feeling because I know energetically that is not right for me this this um, friendship or, or whatever relationship is not right for me so you don't even need to actually be able to um, justify it nor do you have to you don't have to so it's just following that that flow right the flow of energy everything is energy energy doesn't lie it doesn't lie so if something doesn't feel good for you it's not it's simple so that was one of my biggest uh, lessons this week is is um, getting to really play with that and um, and test it out and I've got to see both sides of the coin there which is beautiful so by following that flow of energy and following your inner guidance system is is how you actually align onto your true path in life and sometimes it doesn't make sense well in fact a lot of the time it doesn't really make any logical sense but that's okay too it doesn't have to at some point down the track it will and that's when you go ah oh, now I get it now I get why all that stuff happened and it's led me to this point so we always have the capacity to choose you are the own creator of your own life and and we all came here for a very specific reason to live our very best life so why not start now and it doesn't have to be based on the outside world another thing that I'm doing at the moment I'm finding uh, interesting I can actually feel the energy on Facebook it's a new new thing it's really interesting um, and what I'm finding at the moment is um, a, it's like being bombarded at the moment there's information overload at the moment on Facebook so I am really um, stepping back from that a little bit because um, it's it can become overwhelming it can uh, actually be a big energy zapper and drain you and um, 
and, and because it, it's like going down the rabbit hole, right? You see one thing, you go, oh, like I did with this person. Oh, that's interesting. I'm curious. And then you just keep going and going and, and you find that it's actually um, – really sucking your energy and instead of you actually turning it back in on yourself and empowering ourselves in a sense what you're doing is um disempowering yourself by giving your energy away to other things that um that are, a lot of it is quite negative at the moment so so that's why um in my zoom call as well i was i was saying about do we want to be part of the solution um and actually come together and do something as as a united collective um, rather than just allowing ourselves to continually be um, taken down the one rabbit hole after another really there's no end to it it's like a um, it's like an underground matrix right of tunnels underground tunnels where all the tunnels just keep winding and at some point the truth is going to come out I feel it's not too far away um, and so so in a sense, you know, we could almost just sit back and wait for that to happen because it's going to happen anyway, uh, regardless of how much uh, energy you invest into it or, or decide to give to it, um, it's going to happen anyway. So, But I do also understand that we're all here for different reasons and we're all here to play different parts. So I am also very grateful for a lot of the information that I am seeing because really what we're, what, what's coming out um, is the truth. And we all deserve the right to know the truth. And, um, and that's something that's been hidden from us for a very long time. So um, the other thing that's coming through really strongly is about us stepping into our power, standing up and stepping into our power. There's a lot of fear at the moment around this, um, myself included, myself included. So um, it's, in, it's important for us to, to not lose sight of our own vision and our own mission and, and, and following our own hearts. Uh, because it is very, very easy to get misguided at the moment and distracted and go and follow this and go and follow that. And before you know it, you you um, don't know where you are. And uh, all you do know is you end up effectively feeling like shit because a lot of it's quite negative. So not saying don't read it, do what's good for you, do what feels good for you and what's right for you. But... We're really being called now to to fully step into our own power and, and to take responsibility for everything, for your thoughts, for your actions, for your behaviours, for your um, uh, emotions, all of it. 100% accountability for what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and more importantly, what you're projecting, what you're putting out into the world is it positive or is it just creating more negative if it's creating more negative then maybe it's time for us to spin it back around come back into yourself look at you put the mirror back on yourself the looking glass and um and, and really see what energy you're projecting out there because the last thing that i feel we need at the moment is is more negative fear-based energy being projected out there so so if you find yourself sort of caught in that trap as such as I was and it's very very easy to do um, then then I urge you to to turn the, the, the mirror back on yourself and um, and have another look at what's going on inside of you so that then you can actually take your own power back and stand up fully in, in your power and, and what feels true and right for you. So upon saying that, um, I'm going to put an alpha out later today. So being leading by example, I'm going to uh, put an offer out today, uh, which then allows me to step fully into my power as well and to take the next step in my journey because it is all one big beautiful journey. We are in this together. And, um, yeah, look, I just want to honour everyone that, that's out there. We're all doing the best we can. That's all we can do. And um, some days are better than others. And, and to just really, the more we can open our hearts, especially to ourselves, and just give yourself some kindness and compassion and understanding, 
then the more that we can then radiate that and give that to others. But first of all, it starts with you. And I'm a huge advocate of that. I, I through my own personal experience, know this to be true. So, so be kind to yourself and, um, and, and just take some time for you and to really feel into what lights you up, what's important for you and uh, to turn our hearts back on, my friends, and to allow ourselves to open up even more rather than contract, which funnily enough is what, um, what all this fear-based stuff is, is aimed at doing. So always do the opposite. That's been my motto. Whatever you see being projected out there, do the opposite, which is open your heart even more and start by doing that with yourself. I love you all so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support and um, have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye for now.